everyone, so I am back with a haul today, and forgive me if I'm a bit nervous or my voice is shaky. I'm still getting used to it and getting the hang of it, but uh, I hauled a couple of things. I wouldn't say a big haul, but uh, I didn't purchase any of this, or I didn't purchase all of it at once. I've been, it's been going back and forth, bits and bobs, so I will get started. Okay, first thing I'm grabbing is the Real Techniques, um, this is the Travel Essentials, and this has, which brush, the Multitask Brush, and the Domed Shadow Brush, and the Essential Foundation Brush. I don't think I'm going to get much use out of the foundation brush, but I did purchase it just for the multitask. I've been curious to try it. And then the dome shadow brush for concealer, but I got this and I haven't opened it yet, but um, I own multiple of Real Technique brushes and they're amazing and they're such a, such a good overall brush. They're synthetic, they're easy to clean, um, and they're very affordable, so that's why I have so many. But these are nice. And the next thing I got, I picked up, here I'll do nail bits. I picked up several mint polishes because I'm obsessed with mint at the moment, and I, I did a mint post. Uh, I'll link it down below so you guys can check that out. But first one I picked was Ilamasca's MILF. And I would say this is a true, like a pistachio green. It almost has like a gray undertone to it, but it's really pretty. I haven't tried it out yet. And my nails are bare. I chipped like four of them and I'm trying to let them grow. But I think I might paint them with this next. And then um, in my last video, I had this one on. This is Essie's first timer and this released with their summer collection I believe and this is a spearmint green it's so pretty no shimmer just really opaque and they dry fast I love Essie polishes they're really nice and then the last one I picked up was Essie's absolutely sure and Viviana does makeup um, she's the reason why I purchased this she loves this and this is her absolute favorite mint polish and I did wear it and I needed about three coats for it to be completely opaque but it looked nice and I enjoyed it. It's a really pretty color. Um, milky pastel mint color. But I got those three. Now I'm having trouble sleeping and I figured if I get something that I can soak in, um, like a bath, if I take a bath, it might help. And I picked up the Sea Booth Lavender Mineral Bath Soak. And I love that it says, it says, hold on, where is it? It's so funny. It says, Lavender Scent puts you in a mood that people can actually stand to be around. And it's pretty funny what it says up here. But um, it just smells lovely. And it says to add about three to four caps. Um, capfuls so you take it off pour it in the bath and then just soak in it but uh, I haven't tried it yet and I'm hoping this will help me sleep a little bit better I've also been looking into the this works um, deep pillow spray I think I might pick that up too if this doesn't help and um, I'm looking for some eucalyptus bath salts as well so haven't tried that yet, but picked this up and I think it was on sale for about three bucks for this big tub. So really, really good deal on that. Another Viviana Does Makeup uh, influenced purchased or purchase. It is the Chubby Stick in 04 Ample Amber and I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet. I haven't used it just because I want to take pictures of it and put it on the blog. Oh, whoa, great. Uh-oh, did I get a defective one? Sweet. Yep. Just my look. I mean, 
mean, it still works, but <laughs> awesome. There, fixed it. Anyway, they're eyeshadow sticks, and I own Fuller Fudge. Um, this is a pink champagne-y color, and this is truly MAC All That Glitters in a stick, in an eyeshadow stick. And these are really nice. They're affordable. They're only $16, and they just wind up like that and twist down. And although mine is a little bit defective, it's not that big a deal. And then they snap close, but really pretty color, like that. I picked up YSL's new baby doll mascara, and I have it on my eyelashes today. I usually go for waterproof mascaras. I find that they hold my curl better. I get so many compliments of, your lashes are great, your lashes are amazing, and I'm like, yeah, it's because I curl them every single day. Um, they are full, but they're pin straight, and they don't curl at all. They curl at the ends, which is so weird. I don't know why they do that. They only curl like that, and then they're straight. But I curl my lashes every single day, and I find that the only thing that holds them is a waterproof mascara. So I'll grab that, put that as a base, and then put something over top. But I tried this one out. Um, and I have no mascara underneath other than just this one. And it kept them... I still have the curl in my lashes. And it lengthened. It separated. Comes... Or here's this... What the brush looks like. I don't know if you could see it. But it's one of those um, spiky plastic brushes. Ah, oh, it smells amazing. Just like there are other mascaras. The Fosos. But I picked that up, and I will let you know how I get on with this. I also picked up another candle, and my favorite, I don't know if you've heard of Diptyque candles, but they're just amazing candles, and they are expensive, I know, but if you don't want to splurge so much on a candle like that, I advise to pick up this candle, and it is the Archa, I don't know if it's Archipelago or Archipelago, I can't pronounce it, but it is their pomegranate citrus scent, and this smells exactly like the Bayes candle, the berry candle from Diptyque. It is an exact dupe, and it's, I paid regularly, it's $24.50, and it was on sale for $13 bucks at Ulta, um, and comes in this box. And this is what the candle looks like. It's so pretty. And it has this band around it and this coin that has an A and a B. And then it says the name of the brand. And um, I have burned it already. Yeah, it smells exactly like it. It's the same thing. I would say, like you wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference if somebody blindfolded me and said, smell this one and smell this one. Which one is it? I wouldn't be able to pick. But overall, it's an amazing candle and when I'm, I can't wait to take the wax out just to put pens or something in it. You can reuse it. And the box is really nice too that it comes in. It's this nice cardboard box. But that was a good find and I wasn't expecting that. But when I opened the box and I smelled it, I said, oh, it smells just like it. Then from Chanel's summer collection, I went and looked at it. I don't really like anything. But I did fall in love with this nail polish, and it is in the color 647 Lilis. And it's this really pretty, corally, pinky, orangey color. Um, it's a good mix between Chanel's Holiday and, oh, I can't think of the other one. But it's in between both colors. It's just really, really, really pretty for spring. And I'd probably wear this all year round. And I don't have anything like it in my nail polish collection, so that's what made me pick it up. But I thought that was really pretty. And then, ooh, these. I featured these on my blog already, but I thought I'd show them anyway. Um, I picked these off of Amazon, and they were two bucks, free shipping. It took a while for them to get here, I'd say about three weeks. But um, they're little nail dotting tools, and I think they're really cool. They have different shaped uh, balls 
to make different dots or sizes of dots on your nails. So these are really cool and really inexpensive. I like those. As a 100 point perk, I got Bobbi Brown's Hydrating Eye Cream. It comes in this little box and it's 0.24 ounces. So that's a good sample size, I'd say. It's and then I stopped at Target and saw these notebooks and they're so pretty. And Essie Button actually featured these on her blog. I haven't even opened them yet, but I'll take the plastic off so that I can I don't blind you with the glare. But look how pretty these are. They're so pretty and it comes tied up. I don't even want to open it. But um, it's the Botanicals Notebook Collection by Rifle Paper. And they're just gorgeous. And it says notebook in gold. And it's that same corally color with mint that I'm obsessed with. And there's three notebooks in here. What am I going to use them for? I have no idea. But I'm sure I'll find something. I like stationery stuff. And last but not least, um, also at Target, I found this tray. Or this letter tray. I can get it in the screen. But it's this pretty mint color with this darker blue stripe in the middle and I figured it'd be cute to maybe lay the notebooks in or something, put a candle and lay this on top of a table or put magazines in it. Um, it's really really pretty and this was really inexpensive too. It was five bucks so and I think it's made out of cardboard. It is. But got that and that is it. That was my little mini haul and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.